Bam. Bam. Marker down. YouTube involved now. They'll get this replay. Even if we go 0 and 5. Zale coming in with that Prime Gaming sub. I'm going to do shout outs here. Uncle DB's here. Lauder King Brand. Some Grayus. Scorpion God. Zale and Hansa. I think I got everyone. There you go. And the YouTube folks are here. We're going to blow up some lands. Definitely going to try to do this. And I, I like the red-white list quite a bit. I'm a little worried that the black doesn't add a whole lot here. I know we get Vindicate. Basically, Vindicate's replacing Pillage. But we're going to be blowing up lands today. Happy Wednesday, Cactus Watering Day, for those that know what that means. Let's talk about these cards. There's some, there some new cards here. There's some cards that... You probably have seen played, and then maybe a few that you haven't, really. So, one thing to note is our land base is very interesting, going to be kind of difficult to play with, and may make us even stumble some. We have four Cascading Cataracts, four Flagstones, and then we have the Bridge, and the Bridge. Uh, where's the other one? Oh, do I not have the other Bridge? I see it right here. All right, maybe maybe I don't. I have the Triome then. But basically, this Drossforge Bridge and this Rustvale Bridge are the indestructible artifact lands. And these come into play tapped and can tap for two different colors. Sometimes we use a Darksteel Citadel or other colorless lands, Cascade and Cataracts, for example. And this can sometimes punish us. I am a little surprised to see four flagstones and four cascading when you have these, but we'll see how often the mana problems happen for us. Blowing up lands, we have cleansing wildfire to either ramp us or blow up a land. Vindicate, and I say blow up, it can trips and might find no more basics. We have vindicate, which is an interesting card because it like I said, it's replacing pillage in the red-white list. Pillage hits artifacts and lands. This hits. Lands, artifacts, creatures, planeswalkers, it hits everything. So it's kind of interesting to have this in our red-white Ponza thing. We have to splash black for that. We'll see how often that extra black is hard to cast. We don't have too much that's double red. We have one Chandra. We actually have a lot more white in this list than I'm used to playing. So we'll see how that goes. We have a boom bust over here, four of. So that's our other blowing up land spell. Sounds good to me. Uh, we have Dam in here, we have Wrath of God, and we have Day of Judgment, which is cool. We have three Wraths. Uh, one thing that's kind of interesting here is we've got an Elspeth Sun's Nemesis, and I've actually really liked the idea of this card, but I've never seen anywhere where it's really done a whole lot. All of its abilities are minus abilities. It comes in with five, and you can either do gain five life and then make some human soldiers, or you can double down on human soldiers, or you can make a creature more powerful. Interesting. We'll see how this does. We have one Chandra, so we split between Elspeth and Chandra. We'll see how that goes. Got Nahiri, though. Nahiri's the main planeswalker because we're sitting with an Emrakul. I don't particularly like the one of Emrakul. We'll see how often that's a problem, but we've got the one of. I hope Monkey doesn't take it from us. And then we've got Karn in here. I like Karn. Karn's got a, a package in here of just typical artifacts that you're very familiar with. Prismatic Ending is sitting in here as well. Very popular card right now. We'll see how that goes. Emrakul's sitting here. Sideboard-wise, Glass Casket's kind of an interesting one. It is an artifact, so it could sit here with the artifact suite. But basically, it is a way to remove something. Gives Karn kind of a way to go grab something that's a removal. Sanctifiers in here for graveyard decks and red, black, delirium, and other things like that are sitting around, so that's good. Timely's in here, some Chandra Awakened Infernos. Artifact package. I still am not a fan of lands in the sideboard, but this one has one. And we have a Chroma. Not really sure why this is here. We'll see when I feel like this should be brought in. But Akroma is sitting in here too. Well, we'll see how everything goes. I hope every monkey that connects takes the spaghetti. <laughs> no stone rains in this version. Um, maybe we'll, for league number two, if we're not enjoying this one, maybe we'll move back to the red white one that has stone rain, but this one does not. This has vindicate. Vindicate's replacing pillage or stone rain. And yeah, that's how it's gonna work. What this list does a little differently than some of our typical red 
white or land destruction list is it's not totally in on the land destruction. It's definitely a big element here, committing 12 cards to at least targeting lands, one of which can be red ramp for us. And what's interesting there is that we're hoping to probably just set our opponent back one, two times and then have just the four slot take over. That's the idea. So instead of what Red Prison does with accelerating things out, which it's struggling with, Sammy and Spirit Guide, you'll notice I bring that up as much as I can, where we accelerate to four, this one like tries to make our opponent stumble and beat them to four. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, Karn could grab the land. It's true, it is an artifact. Didn't think about that. All right, with that being said, let's hook ourselves up with a Modern League here. Got to use those true tickets. No play points because we couldn't win 50 last night. Let's see if we can at least win 50 tonight. Black seems to add instability in this kind of deck, but I'd love to see how it goes. Exactly. That's what I'm most worried about, Hansa. but we've got a relatively robust land base. We'll see how often it is a problem. We do have a random swamp down here as well, which we can go get with cleansing wildfire off of cascading or even flagstones. So we have ways to get that black. No monkey in this list. This list isn't trying to do the monkey thing, trying to blow up lands, trying to make our opponents stumble, play the four drops, smash our opponents. What's up, Dr. T. Sanchez? Three months. Nice. What's up, bunny? How's it going? Yeah, no monkey, no monkey. One thing that's kind of fun and we get asked about a lot is does Trinisphere need to be in prison? The answer is no, but in this variation, it definitely can because we're blowing up lands. Love some land destruction? A lot of people do. We'll see how this one does. I think red white is probably slightly stronger or Ponza, but willing to give this one a shot. Willing to give this one a shot. I think, I mean, at this point, if you just want to not have blue, you can play pretty much any version of land destruction. If you really wanted to go crazy on it, you could be more like almost black red at this point and not even worry about white. You could try that. Rain of Tears, Liliana. Pillage, Stone Rain. All right, Purple Gambit's 2-2. Two, two. We're double O. We're starting out. We're playing first. We have a hand that ramps. Uh, yeah, let's keep. We can even get our Triome. We'll be good. Got all of our colors. We can blow something up if they can get aggressive here. Ramp on the flagstones. Drawing. We'll see what happens. Blue to Delta for our opponent here after our Bloodstained Mire. Blue-white. Esper Sentinel. Hmm. I kind of want to just kill this now. I could get a Blood Crypt here. It seems appropriate. I think I'm going to go ahead and kill this. They get an extra card. It's like, fine. Just gets it off the battlefield and then I can ramp which is what we want to do here. Let's cleansing ourselves here. We get a sweat. Uh, I can go get the Triome now. So go get, let's see here. Uh, what is this off of? The Cleansing Wildfire? Can get a... Plains... And then I can go get the Triome. All right. Mana is good. We even picked up Dam. That's not bad. Hasn't Dam, what's up? We are trying to have a good one. <laughs> How's it going? 10 months. You're nearly at the year. Maybe I need to kill this. We'll depend on what my opponent goes and gets. Holdra complete. Holder complete. All right.
I could kill this. I could kill and cleansing wildfire. I could also get Karn. I'm not really sure what Karn gets me though here. I could go get a bridge. I don't think I need to be going to get a bridge though. I think we kill because that gets kind of stuck and we do a cleansing wildfire probably on their land. We'll, we'll go after probably the white source. Seems good. Kind of goof up their mana, maybe. All right, we hit a land. That's a nice looking planes you got over there, opponent. All right, so we can Karn down tick. Uh, I think I have a pithy needle. We can pithy needle the stone forge here, which is kind of cool. And then I'll have Karn in play. Then I can look about Nahiri. Woo. Woo. Oh, batter skull. Woo. Opponent moves to discard. I'd love to play this, but we're going to go ahead and play the Bloodstained Mire here. Red, 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 white, 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 black, black. Really, I can get anything. I'll just get a little more red. Play a Karn. We'll down tick this Karn. Go get a Pithy Needle. Play the Pithy Needle. Name Stone Forge Mystic. If I didn't know any better, I'd say we were playing Prison. Opponent's got two artifacts, two lands here. We got Nahiri Karn behind this. Karn's good against these artifacts, too. Esper Sentinel, you got it. You can't. Activated abilities cannot be activated. It's one at Karn. Okay. Plays a land, does not shock in. So they picked up that land. The talisman. Hmm, what else could we get here? We could get a glass casket. We could go get a liquid metal coating. One, two, three, four. I can't quite play it. Don't show any here if I don't have to. One, two, three, four, five. I almost just want to go get bridge. Kind of play the whole 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 dealio here. Let's go get bridge here. Let's play our land tapped. Let's play a talisman down and we'll pay for this first one. And then we'll put a bridge down as well. That should be Pretty good, right? Oh, it's only the first non-creature spell. <laughs> I haven't read that card. Worm coil them? Nah, I'm gonna get Karn down next. We might have to get empty-handed here, folks. One, two, three, they draw a card and play Karn. They'll draw two cards. Let's think here. What's the best way? Get around this. I think it's Vindicate Land, Karn Uptick here. And I think I'm going to just have to say no to this and let them draw some cards here. Not a ton of cards. A few. I almost want to like uptick the pithy needle here. If I go to six, they go back down to three here. That's fine. All right. Cool. 
Get remove opponent. At this point, I would absolutely love to just like work Nahiri up and then eventually just vindicate my bridge and be like, <laughs> spaghetti. <laughs> Part of me wants to get a Trinisphere off this card, make it work. Oh, third land for my opponent, keeping up with that white mana as they can. One, two, and then one, two, three, four. If I hit a land, I can Nihiri and Liquid Metal Coating shut off white going forward. I don't think I can hide this Nahiri to win this game because they're all X1 or one X's. Karn, Karn, Karn. Karn going down to three. You gonna play something? Sword, Feast and Fam. They have they have all everything. There's a land. Uh, I think it's just go get liquid metal coating here. Liquid metal. Can I pay two? One, two, three, four, one, two. Yeah, I can pay it. We'll stop on their upkeep. And we'll play in a hearing. Let's uh let's just go up. Cool. All right, you remove opponent. Now I blow up a few lands and land a Trinisphere and game gonna be over. I mean, this is land destruction too. You all came to see land destruction. We're gonna give you land destruction. It's that simple. There's a Scalding Tarn. Scalding Tarn to get a Hallowed Fountain. That way they have white mana. All right. What are you going to do with that white mana? Prismatic Ending on the bridge here. Yep. Can't activate or do anything just yet. They're going to go ahead and kill Karn here. All right. We don't have a bridge. Going a bit after Nahiri. Fine by me. Cleansing Wildfire. One, two, one, two. And then I have one, two, three, four afterwards. Let's go ahead and hit the land over there. I can actually pay for both of these, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I really am not casting too much here. Draw a card and then maybe Nahiri draw a card. If I play this draw card and don't like it, I don't have many four drops to hit that I would like. I should probably just do this. Let's go ahead and discard. Another land. I'm going to go ahead and cantrip now. Trying to find a way to kill this. All right, it's a turn it's it's a turn late. Three, four, five. They can't kill Nahiri necessarily here, which is good. Okay. Too bad it's tapped artifact. Because Liquid Metal Coney makes something an artifact. But it has. I could destroy a land with Nahiri, right? I could. Tapped artifact. If it's tapped, I could have. Could have been a thing. Another stone forge here. 
We have plenty of things. I'm assuming they're going to attack me with this one and then put like batter skull in and I'm going to lose the day of judgment. Yeah, and here he goes to four. Probably should have waited on cantripping. I was thinking they go here, but I should have waited. It's fine. All right. Batter skull played. Okay. <clears throat> um, new Nahiri. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> what do we do with new Nahiri here? I think I have to loot here. I need my Wrath of God. Looting here is probably the best thing to do. If I kill a creature and kill a creature, it doesn't do anything. Let's loot. Cleansing. Let's go ahead and hit them to see if they have more white here. I pay for this? Answer is yes. Pay three to prevent this. Oh, it's three. All right, I'll pay the one to prevent. Because this is bigger. Let's see if they have another planes. There's a bolt. All right, we'll pass turn. Uh, Bolt's interesting. Five, six, seven. I could go to one, it looks like. They'll more than likely ignore the Nahiri here. And we'll attempt to kill this. Make sure they're not drawing any more cards here. Just tap out. Nice solid five mana Bolt, yeah. By the way, they only had one planes. Oh, they're playing counter spells. Well, there you go. All right. Hmm. All right. My opponent has enough for the prismatic ending on the bridge. I'll be aware of that. Are we changing anything? I don't see this Elspeth being very good. Chrome is kind of an interesting one. I can't imagine I want to play this though. <laughs> so this Elspeth out, maybe a Chandra in, maybe the Acroma, because I'm just Greedy. Timely seems okay. Maybe I want the other timely as more blockers. Definitely land destruction seemed to do okay against them. Prismatic ending's gonna hit a lot. Damn was not too bad. Karn was okay. I don't know if I like the call here. What if I just like slot in the other Chandra? I'm looking at the Chandra as more of a board wipe style than anything else. All right. Uh, no white. This is interesting. No land destruction either. Hmm. I don't like this hand. Let's mulligan. This looks better. We're going to keep... I 
I'm going to get rid of the timely. All right. We could fetch and use the Bloodstained Mire as our boom target. So we'll keep that as option. I think that's what we're going to go ahead and do here. I'm expecting counters, which is fine. I can't hit this anyway. They just fetch with it. All right. Let's do it this way. I'm going to sacrifice this land here because I'm expecting the counter magic right now. And if not, fine. We'll both lose a land. But I'm expecting counter. You got it. Counters. Cool. And now we'll be a little more shall we say, finessed with a Bloodstain Mire. Because this should put something into play. That's fine. I barely play any artifacts. They missed a land drop here. I have the ability to throw, like, Karn down. But I think my best play here is to blow up a land... And go get my triome here, probably. Could even get a something to, to get rid of this. We'll see if they have a force. They do have force, and they get rid of a spell queller. Kind of interesting here. Okay. Opponents stop both land destruction spells. Gets in with Kataki. Probably just fire off the Nahiri now. How many more things do I have to deal with here? Let's see if Nahiri resolves. Do we have another, like, spell queller? Fetch and does a shock. Force? Queller? All right. I got plenty of things that can kill a queller. Just got to find one of them. Drown Catacombs. We got four damage coming across from our opponent. They flag stones. Let's actually go ahead and attempt to ramp here. Make a better decision with our Karn if I'm able to ramp. Another Karn. I guess I'll slam a Karn. See if we can uh, get that down. Resolves. We'll go get Bridge. I think I want to go get Bridge. Could go get a glass casket to hit the spell queller. Hmm. I'm going to go get the bridge more because the bridge stops both of these more than likely. I have to pay for it through Kataki, but that doesn't worry me that much. I assume they're both going to go at Karn here. They do. Okay. One, two, three. Three, bridge. One, two, three, four, Karn. If you didn't counter Bridge, not countering that. Then let's go get a Glass Casket to see if we can unlock Spellqueller and Nahiri here. Best buds. I might even just give them their Spellqueller back immediately with the Glass Casket and not pay for it through Kataki. 
That way it doesn't like randomly get picked off and I get something countered because they have artifact removal in hand. Speaking of, speaking of disenchant. Okay, attack Karn again, I presume. Three at Karn, four, sorry, four at Karn. Okay. And we're gonna cast a stone forge. Makes sense. Cauldra complete. Wow, we have a lot going on here. Okay. Let's start with the glass casket. Exiling Spell Queller. We get our Nahiri back. Cast Nahiri. Exile Kataki. Vindicate Stoneforge. Draw with Sunbaked on their turn. Seems all reasonable to me. They're not interacting with us. I can't imagine they would save Stoneforge at that point. They're doing all the things, exactly. I'm going to draw a card. What are you going to do? Flash in Snapcaster? Who plays Snapcaster anyway? Seacomb Crost. No five mana. That's good for us. Prismatic ending to get the glass casket. That's fine. It's a 2 3. I've got to deal with it at some point. Not very worried about that. Let's go ahead and draw a card. Flagstone's not what I wanted. Vindicate's better. All right. Let's uh, loot away the flagstones. Exactly. Ugh. Let's draw. Okay. Let's Vindicate Spell Queller. It'd be nice if I tap my mana correctly. Vindicate. I'm going to hold the Cascading Cataract. And the Karn. Your move, opponent. <laughs> They're kind of light on the counter spells, it looks like. I say that they have counter spell, force, and spell queller. I mean, that's that's pretty good. Batter Skull. Oh. Teperi. Do they bounce Nahiri here? Karn, go get something for the Teferi. What do we have? Just Pithy Needle or Liquid Metal? I guess Liquid Metal is technically better. One, two, three, four. Karn. Maybe still hold the Cascading Cataract here. Liquid Metal for Teferi. Okay. Maybe Pithy Needle is just better. If I draw like a Vindicate, I can blow this up and start killing lands. That's the idea of getting the Liquid Metal Coating. Obviously, if they're able to get rid of Karn, it's like, eh, not great. But I can't imagine they're going to haste anything in. They don't have this yet. See, now they're at now they're at almost enough mana to make this happen. So I'm like, ooh, I don't know about this. Protection from black. Thankfully, this is a wrath effect. <laughs> Repeat, thankfully, it's a wrath effect as they shock in here. Sentinel. So they have complete in hand. All right. So, probably want to go get Pithy Needle now to shut this off. And I can shut off a land to prevent this. And I want to blow up the world here. So, one, two, two, three, four. So, overload. 
I can pay for this, and I will. Doing all the things, or trying to do all the things. We're trying. Now we do a pithy needle, pithy needle, the Teferi hero of the Dominaria. And we'll put Tappy Land in. I'm going to pass turn and I'm going to shut down a land here so we don't do Cauldra. Okay. What do you got? <laughs> What are you going to do, opponent? You find that land? Got a creature? Counterspell. Well, I'm going to slam Nahiri. Let's go ahead and get rid of a land first, though. Draw bust. Boom. I mean bust. Floating mana. I respect it. We'll go to second main phase before playing Nahiri. They know Nahiri's in my hand. It was tucked. Counterspell? I mean, they didn't play anything, right? Counter. Force. Target player draws two cards. You got it. You got it. Resolves. Let's find a Vindicate. Maybe we'll get rid of something eventually. Nothing immediately. We can get rid of the upkeep stop now. Opponent's got two, four, six mana. Not going to get to seven. Trying to prevent this. Oh, there goes the Pithy Needle to the Prismatic Ending. Opponent's getting the Teferi on. That's not good for us. That's not good, but it's maybe not the biggest problem. Vindicates Karn. Everything's falling apart. This will have haste. One, two, three, four, five, six... New Karn? Alright, I don't need to ramp myself, so let's go ahead and hit them. Let's hit more white mana. And they're doing all the things. Drawing cards. We're drawing cards. They're drawing cards. We're all drawing cards. It's just the meta of magic. <gasps> no, no! Hmm, okay. Ah, this thing, like, kills me real fast. Alright, we're looting Prismatic Ending away. Oh, we hit the land. Give me the goods. Alright, what am I doing with the Chandra? Do I give the gift? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I have to give the gift. And here he's about to smash him. Do I just kill this? They play this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. They need one more. Maybe I shoot this. If I shoot this, then they swing. If they swing. Don't swing to here. I win. I think I do that. Get to ferry out of here. Makes it a little bit harder maybe for them to draw the land. Offers the Chandra up and makes Nahiri lethal with spaghetti. They have the lands. What do they want to do with them? So they're going to play this. It's a 5-5. Five, five. Slap some stuff. Attack Nahiri, downtick, exile the creature, and ping gift. Attack Chandra, spaghetti is served. 
Because it doesn't give it vigilance, so the creature will be tapped. Should be, right? Let me read all the text here. 5-5, five, five, first strike, trample, indestructible, haste, combat, exile, creature. We're good. Turn it sideways, opponent. Chandra gets a little love. We'll go get spaghetti and serve. <laughs> spaghetti and serve. Nice. All right. One and one against the opponent. The scariest draw there was drawing spaghetti. Uh, any changes? My opponent really is just all in on all these artifacts. I really, I really don't have much for these artifacts. I mean, I Vindicate. And I guess I have Nahiri if any of them tap. Send it back. Send it back. It's kind of funny to be in red and white and not have something to deal with artifacts. I know, I know. Vindicate and Nahiri, but still. I mean, it's just interesting. Why opponent didn't attack Nahiri? Uh, because I can down tick and get rid of the germ, I suppose. And by doing that, I mean the one thing they could have done is top decked another land and had a one drop. One drop and then attach cauldron complete. I think they were more worried about Chandra just giving them the gift of forever damage and losing that way. This looks like fun. <laughs> this looks like fun. Let's just do fun things. Psh, Asper Sentinel. Ah. <laughs> oh, it even got better. It got better off the top. Look at this. The only problem is they have a Sentinel. We're going to go for it. I don't care if you draw. I don't care. Uh, yeah, they would have had a few more draws, but Chandra, Chandra's... Chandra's amazing. People just fall in love with her all the time. Go running into her. Big hug. Opponent got to draw here. We'll see if they drew a land or counterspell. They're doing something. They force it. Drown the lock. Ooh, haven't seen that card. I suppose I vindicate this next, right? Oh, no black for my opponent. No black. Three mana little Teferi. Goes up with Teferi. Smacks me for one. I think I just take care of the Teferi now. They draw another card, but Teferi is kind of annoying. And I'm going to be able to pay for this, and if they play more creatures, I just Wrath instead. No black still. That's fine. It's fine. Sort. Third. Third. Um... Now I can pay for this. Boom. Had to shock in because I didn't have double black. We'll just kill this. That's fine. Again, can wrath. Gonna start. I don't know. I'll, I'll just probably blow up sword, honestly. No black still. Thank goodness I got rid of the drown the lock. Stoneforge Mystic. Cauldron complete. One, two, three, four, five. They do. They do. Caldra. And hooks up the Stone Forge Mystic. Let's vindicate Stone Forge Mystic.
This is gonna be kind of hard to deal with. Just gonna say that one, two, three, four, five, six. I can vindicate a land so they can't play this now. Big to fairy. Kind of, kind of stuck on what to do here. She's 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 nice. I don't want this to run away with it. If they're able to play this, I'm, I just lose. I guess I don't lose, but it's close. Let's attempt to Vindicate here. I should probably have the Arid Mesa down in case of Spell Pierce. Got lucky. Pass turn. Please, not another land. Let me find a Boom Bust. Well, they found black. Cauldron Complete's coming in. We're getting hit for five. Going to eight. A little bit less, too. What do we do about this? Because the creature has Indestructible, too, I believe. Need a Prismatic Ending, right? I think that hits tokens. Oh, I guess Nahiri gets rid of the, the germ. That's right. We literally talked about that last time. Doesn't get rid of the Cauldra, gets rid of the Germ, though. Which is somewhat important, although, once again, if they have a one drop, one drop, and then slap the Cauldra onto it. Uh-oh. Land. Oh, thank goodness, it's a two drop. All right. Probably have to wrath that. We have to pay. They have to pay. Everybody has to pay. Hooks up Sword. Smart. I'll pay for itself. <laughs> sure. All right. So we can Wrath here, which is probably what we want to do. Let's loot the land away. Oh, I see. Gotta hope that they don't have a counter spell. Got him. All right. Your move. And I've got Lady Lithomancer in hand. Spell quells. Snap cat. I just die. Good game. Snapcaster. Unbelievable. Is this Evan? Who plays Snapcaster? Uh, I shocked in earlier too. Two, two difference here. Two damage difference. Dang it. Bomber. Well, that's not doing anything. All right. A little 01 to start things off. <laughs> Snapcaster. We got the Spaghettium, though. Prismatic Ending would have helped with the Germ as well. That was tough. That was tough. Fought the good fight, though. Onward we go. Onward we go. Hmm. So, initial impressions. List is cool. Does some interesting things. Vindicates nice. Kind of almost want like two stone rings or two pillages already. Don't know why we have Elspeth at the moment. Let's keep playing. I did like the talisman. That was kind of cool. Didn't do much with it, but it was cool. I almost would change both talismans to two maze mind tomes. Because I think 
the possibility of drawing with those is just crazy. And then realistically, if you did that, um, I'd have to double check, but I think you could put the fox in the sideboard. D Jeff MTG's our opponent one and two, and we're zero and one. My opponent's also double queuing in a modern league. Apparently, let's play Jeff DJ. Maybe it's DJF. How did prison go yesterday? Thirty and zero. All right. Emrakul is not really supposed to be in hand. I've got boom busts though, and I believe in them. I know I have to destroy my lands, but that will be oh. Okay, we'll lead with Sacred Foundry. Okay, your move opponent. Thunderbird, it didn't go very well, but they'll be up on YouTube. Oh, Triome, Triome. Are we gonna dash in Monkey? Bird in Catacombs, fetch him. Find that basic, ugh. 10 color deck. All right. Territorial Kabu. I don't think this is that scary. I say that I'm going to die probably, but we're going to boom bust this Triome and just not lose a land here and get my own triome. Domain, Kavu, your move. I like seeing this Modern Horizon 2 card though. Ooh. Wooded Foothills, looks like we're gonna have still a 4-4, four, four. okay, 4-4. Four, four. Might blow up another land, I might Prismatic Ending. Oh no, there's another one. And then they can Discard a card if you do draw a card. So discard draw. Could you change coding out for torque for the off chance you need an extra mana? You can maybe do that main. Oh, we're playing Draco. We're playing Draco. I got it. I bet they need more green. Your move opponent. We'll start killing some things soon enough. I've got Nahiri, I've got Prismatic Ending. My opponent's probably like little tiny zoo with 18 lands or something. I mean, how many more lands could they possibly have against us? Ah, they're still four fours. They're still four fours. Stop. <laughs> Wrath of God off the top one time, please. Thank you. Could be damn too. Could be Day of Judgment. I'm not picky. <laughs> Exos boom bust. That's fine. I can't get that back anyway, opponent. There's no feasible way I could get that back. All right, we're down to eight. A little afraid of some burn spells. Tribal Flames. I'm at four. I need a Wrath. You just want to show up, don't you, Elspeth? You just like... Hey, Fluffy, I, I heard you didn't know why I was in the list. Well, guess what, Fluffy? I make two soldiers. I could even gain you life. Look at me. Oh gosh, they shocked in. That's not good. I might be dead anyway. What are we getting smacked with here? They bolted me. Ah! Oh, they have Mantis Rider. Oh my gosh. This deck has everything. What did you do, Elspeth? Nothing. I knew it. All right, so my opponent has infinity types of mana here. Bloodman would be stellar, but we don't have it. Cleansing Wildfire is probably going to be A-OK. -okay. Timely looks good to bring in, as does Glass Casket. Probably Sanctifier is not bad either. Protection from red doesn't seem the worst. Uh, let's see here. What are we taking out? 
Probably Shonda Torch of Defiance. I mean, honestly, the Lightning Bolts may work. We'll see. We'll see. I like the Boom Bust. I definitely like the Vindicates. I like the Timely. Taking a Maria, Elspeth. Let's take a talisman as well. All right, now here he can do stuff. Wrath Day, Dam, Lightning Bolts, Glass Casket. Now Sanctuary can block. I'll go after their creatures and lands because apparently my opponent will flood. Mm -hmm. I believe in the heart of the cards. We're going to top deck the most incredible cards of our lives, namely a red source. Believe in the heart of the cards. Ooh. Ooh, that little twinge in the back. That's the back telling me don't do that, Fluffy. That's right, I have conversations with my bad back. It's, it's weird. The wife gives me weird looks. All right, opponent, what do you got for us? DJ. What do you got? The back nose. The back nose is a terrible keep. And the heart. The heart knows it was a, it was all for her. Shonda better be careful. Do they have a Nahiri Funko Pop? They have a Liliana one, right? Nahiri Funko Pop. No. Liliana Funko Pop. Yes. I should get Liliana. They have an Elspeth Funko Pop, right? Elspeth Funko Pop. Yeah, I need to get Elspeth. Elspeth, I have Chandra. She's a bit off screen, but I have Chandra. I like Liliana. Get Elspeth. Then what? Gideon? Pop Tarts fix back pain? Nope. Uncle DB, we gave up Pop-Tarts. We on a diet. We on a diet. Pop-Tarts are so many calories, I learned this. Can't eat Pop-Tarts anymore. Where'd our opponent go? Where'd they go? I check. Oh. I lag checked them. I lag checked them. It's probably because they're double queuing. They're going to take 10 minutes on their other game and then come back. <laughs> Yeah, Uncle DB, no more Pop Tarts. We looked them up, so we're, we're wife and I are using an app, and we're tracking calories and making sure we're fit and trying to be healthier. And for the first week, it's like just do what you normally do. So I was like, okay, Pop Tarts in the morning, Pop Tarts in the evening. It's like basically I should have just eaten Pop Tarts at lunch, and it would have been done. That would have been it. Would have been no Pop Tart, no other meals. Three Pop Tarts a day. <laughs> I looked up Eggo Waffles recently. They're not bad until you get to adding the toppings. But yeah, so that's why no Pop Tarts have shown up on the stream lately. It's not that they're, they're not the worst for you. I definitely have some in the house for that munchy time. But um, I guess I was a little more surprised. It's almost like I should open one and like eat one instead of both. Like split them with the wife or something like that. All right, opponent, where are you at? Where are you at? It's been four minutes since I accepted my seven. So when are we having the new tofu emote? I should honestly just make a strawberry emote. I eat so... 
you know, still, still, still a little child at heart. I eat rice, crispy cereal, a little bit of milk and fruit, namely strawberries. I've had bananas in it too, but that's my go-to breakfast now. It's actually really good. It's, it's really good. Let's put it, Rice Krispies can be a little bland, so putting the fruit in there gives it a little kind of a sugar. Natural, and it's good. It is. We had baked chicken, asparagus, red potatoes, and corn tonight. Normally, that would have been pasta. <laughs> Just wait till you eat grape nuts for breakfast. No, I'm good. I don't need those. Nope. Funny enough, breakfast tacos aren't too bad for you. Actually, eggs in general aren't too bad for you based on this diet system. And it's not even a diet system. It's like more awareness. It's awareness of what you're eating and how full it'll make you feel relative to the total calories that it is. And that's kind of an interesting way to look at it. If I feel more full, I'm not going to re-eat something or eat snacks or other things. And then if I pick something that's full, filling, but a little lower in calories, I'll feel full, but I won't have as much in terms of like calories. And it's kind of interesting to think about it that way. Honestly, Uncle DB, I don't think, I mean, I probably couldn't tell you the last time I had soda other than occasionally I have a Sprite if my stomach's upset. Sweet tea and sodas. Every now and then I get like, I want a root beer or a Coke or something like that. But I, I cut that stuff out years ago. Like anytime you saw a water burger cup, it was water. <laughs> They, they insisted I have the cup, and I was like, water then. How have your migraines been as of late since the diet changed? Zero of them. That did some therapy, still doing therapy. De-stress, exercise, diet. Zero migraines. Zero headaches, feeling better, resting better. All right, our opponent's back. It's, am it's amazing what exercise will do. I'm on 11 weeks of our exercise machine that we got, and I'd like to keep the streak up because they have an app, but, you know, you know. Nice hand you got there, Fluffy. Planes and cascading wins so teeth for my opponent. I'm just lacking. My opponent sent me the little heart. They sent me a little heart. What are you doing, opponent? Oh, please. One, I need a land. Two, I need a red land. One mountain, please. Yeah, exactly. I'll, I'll just, I don't even care about this card. Never casting. At least I have the glass casket. Uh... <laughs> four, four flying. Each creature control has vigilance if it's white. Hexproof if it's blue, lifelink if it's black, first strike if it's red, and trample if it's green. Ugh, first strike and hexproof. It targets. It targets. This isn't good. Click concede. No, 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 no. They're only doing seven. You you never know. I could, I could, could get. I 
I don't know what I could get. I don't think I can actually get anything. <laughs> I don't think I can. Oh, they tribal flames me. Turn four, I'm dead. We waited all that time to get killed. All right, that was fun. Ah, land. All right, on we go. <laughs> that land was all we needed. It was all we needed. They had two flyers. I, I actually don't have any flyers in here. I guess I have a Marioth call. Man, they had all the all the lands too. They're just playing fetch lands galore. That was um embarrassing. Ooh. That didn't go very well. Prismatic ending's very bad against the Draco. <laughs> 12, 12 drop. All right, we're 0-2. Let's see if we can bring it back here. Opening hand is okay. I suppose I can keep it. Ramp to Karn, plenty of lands. Flagstone's not a bad thing to see here, too. We're on the play. Opponent mulligans the six. And apparently, Heat, Hat, UK, Heath, At, UK, something like that. Let's see if we can beat an opponent here. First match was very close. Second one got a little unlucky. Windswept Heath. There's a Vindicate. Let's not show them and just ramp to Karn. What's funny is the land over here in the sideboard is the red-white one, not the red-black one. Attempting to resolve a talisman. Triome for our opponent. Can't blow that up. No black mana. Here's a good example where pillage would be just miles better. In this exact scenario, unless they play something super nasty here on turn, uh, on turn two here. Okay. Arbor. I think I just go get a liquid metal coating. Let's not show them the flagstones yet. Cost me a life point. But with liquid metal coating here. If I get like a boom bust or even black mana here, we can blow up two lands. And since they played an arbor, they want to obviously ramp. Line up two lands would be great. Steam vents. Oh, yeah, blue in the mix. What are we playing against? What is this doing back here? Excuse me. You are not invited. I can kill it, but it's still frustrating. I'll get rid of the black mana here. We'll play the flagstone so I can hit this. And then I can lightning bolt possibly something. All right. So apparently domain zoo is a thing again. Hitting it twice this league. Let's see if they blow up Karn or get something nasty in here. Three mana. Sahila Bri. Okay. Interesting. I'm not going to bolt that just yet. I'm going to use Karn to blow up the blue mana probably. There's our black mana. Do we just blow up all the lands here and not worry about this? Yeah, let's get rid of Sahili. We're going to be destroying lands anyway. I don't need them scrying anymore. Yeah, there we go. All right, so my opponent's playing Sahili. I don't know if the previous opponent was playing Sahili, but we got this one. We're going to make a similar sideboard change here. 
uh, glass caustic and sanctifiers and probably this timely i'm gonna take a maria out i'm gonna take the chandra i'm gonna still take this elspeth out and this time i'm gonna take a bolt instead of the um what did i take out last time i think i took out like the talismans we're gonna keep the talismans in that worked better that's what we're supposed to do this hand is terrible. One lands. No. This hand's better. I'll keep. I don't need to take a lot of damage. <laughs> Let's do it. I wonder if Cleansing Wildfire takes them off of lands. We're going to find out together. Ooh, Oath of Nyssa. I like that. That's a, that's a good one. I like that. Felidar Guardian. Oh, all right. Your move, opponent. I'm guessing Cleansing Wildfire does not take them off of a land now. Maybe we can find something that boom busts. Prismatic Ending does get rid of the Sahili Rai, which is kind of a cool little thing. There's a Ren in six. Now I don't like my cleansings as much. We're still going to fire one off here. Actually, do I just nail the, the Renin Six? Could. Let's do it. Let's do it. Renin Six indeed, Uncle DB. Problem is that they might just combo kill me here. There's the Kavu. Flagstone's a good pickup here, because now I can blow up a land. Get this Triome out of here. Don't lose a land myself. Play the Tappa Tappy. Sacred Foundry into play. Your move. Mr. or Mrs. 3-3. Three, three. Another Oath. Oath is good for them. That helps them find lands. They do find a land. We're going to go... All out in their their lands here with the cleansing wildfires. Opponent does not search pre prior to attacking. Now searches. Temple Garden. Yep. Yeah, the, the run and six kill there is pretty good. Four damage coming in. Love to be able to kill this. Thanks, deck. Appreciate you. Let's get rid of blue. Attempt to, at least. We'll see if they have basics. If they don't have basics. I might go after another one. They have basics. All right. Get rid of the creature. Opponent's got three mana. Maybe they have a fourth. Probably need to go after the white mana next. For this Felidar. Oh, we're doing it. Boom. White mana. Floats green. Should we test how many basics they have? I feel like this is a test how many basics they have kind of turn. Saves my Vindicate as well. And... Let's attempt to take them off blue. What are you doing in my hand, Emrakul? Get out of here. All right, fourth land is found. Steam vents. My opponent's at eight. Felidar Omnath. Oh my gosh! I guess I vindicate that. <laughs> okay. 
Let's cycle just to see what else I could get here. And here he's not bad. Now let's go ahead and vindicate the Omnath. And I have Bolt up. It's Omnath. It's everything. This opponent is literally playing everything. Not using Talisman for colorless? I could have. But I'm I'm cool with taking a point of damage here. It's, it's the professional line. Yeah, for some reason it's not a Urian list. There's a Triome. Here comes Guardian. Flicker's Oath. Yeah, see, I'm not I'm not even gonna fire off the lightning bolt here. They're gonna attack with endurance. I'm probably gonna like down tick Nahiri on it. Oh, there's another Omnath. Maybe I have to uptick with Nahiri. Now I just down tick with Nahiri. Okay. Is there upside? No, there's no upside. We're both at seven. If they used a fetch land, I could kill them with bolts. If I find another bolt here. They're going to play what Omnath and then do stuff. Oh, oh, it's Ren and six. Oh. You have to pick a well, you can pick up an island. It looks like they do. All right. Draw a bolt and then find another bolt. Omnath's not going to gain any life just yet. Because they decided Ren 6 and play and now Omnath. All right, I'm throwing the bolt upstairs. It's the only chance I think I have. Let's vindicate. So, Nahiri, get rid of this. See what else I draw later. Please don't kill me. <laughs> Picks up Misty Rainforest. They can play Felidar and then Sahili and kill me. There's Omnath. Okay. They go up to eight, go back down to seven. They have a land. They make infinite mana. Felidar. Flicker land. And do what? Four damage? Kill Nahiri? Flicker's Forest could theoretically still play Sahili and win game right here. Ragavan. I mean, my land destruction idea is a good one because my opponent literally is playing everything. Could I have this opponent when I was playing Blood Moon? I don't even know what to do. Do I bring the bolt back in now? Probably. Do I need a pithy needle? Is prismatic ending any good? Sanctifier doesn't actually look very good anymore. It may not be. I can get it other ways. I can I can try this. This opponent's just like my deck is worth ten grand and I'm playing it. I wanna play first.
It's hard to give this hand up. It's not a bad hand. Let's shock in and scare him. Shock in and scare him. That's what I thought. Scared. All right. Ramp, ramp, ramp. Any black mana or any land to get some planeswalkers down. Yeah. 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 I'm a little worried about that. 5-5. Five, five. We'll, we'll get to that card when it shows up here. We'll deal with it when it shows up here. How bad is Lightning Bolt nowadays? My opponent discards lands. Huh. Discards a land. Play another Kavu. Land. Any land except the Triome. Any land. Scary land, but I got it. This will allow me to fix my mana, too, which is nice. And I'm going to do Day of Judgment. Doubt they have a way to regen these. Oh my gosh, you're going to counter this. Oh. Tap Triome. Oh, we lived. All right, what else you got for me, opponent? Another land wouldn't be bad, so I can get rid of a Planeswalker. Omnath is annoying, but I have Vindicate. Okay. If they had the spell pierce, flip the table. All right. Um, Can't quite just do damn. It's probably going to have to be Vindicate here. Luckily, I can get... More non-black mana. Be good. I can't see letting Omnath just sit here. <laughs> it's not a good idea. Now I have a Karn. Potentially a two drop. I can still Wrath the board. Red and six. Play something else. Ah, oh, they upticked. What if put hills? Fetching. Stomping ground. Shocks it in. It's back. I just vindicate it again. Do I do damn instead? I'm going to do the overload damn here. They seem to be putting one creature out a turn, leaves me with bolt open, and uses the mana the most efficiently. Uh, we do have a bridge. We do have a bridge. Sahili Felidar kind of wrecks that for a while since we need a lot less cards in hand. Which might be a reason to go ahead and throw the bolt at face here if they don't play a creature. They're not playing Omnath because they're doing this all right now. I want the bolt in case they try to do Sahili plus cat combo here. They don't shock in here, but they fetched. Okay. They force a vigored me. I'm gonna do nothing here. We're gonna probably play Nahiri. Yep. We're playing Nahiri. <laughs> Please don't have endurance. Alright. Yeah, they had nothing to do. Just give me. Give me a turn or two with Nahiri here, and we'll be best buds, opponent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards right now. <laughs> I 
Never mind. They had a prismatic ending. Plays the land here. Batching. Uh, is this, oh, yeah. Endurance is not an exile. You are correct. All right. Let's fetch first. Do I vindicate this? Probably not. Probably just car and down tick and uh, go get a pithy needle. I brought the pithy needle in. Dang it. It's fine. I forgot I brought the pithy needle in. It's stuck in the 49. The 49 cards that are left in this library. Keep picking those lands up, opponent. You think they're going to save you? Ha! They are not. What is this? Prismatic the Karn now? Okay. Little flicker flicker of the planes. With the Felidar. Little scary, little scary. All right. I feel like I have to vindicate the Renin 6. I don't think it's Worm Coil time, actually. I think I vindicate, hold Bolt, put Liquid Metal in, and use Liquid Metal. I don't think I want to grab anything yet. Let's see if Vindicate works here. And we'll start going after the red mana. Your move, opponent. So I can sort of deal with the Sahili right here. Sort of. Kinda. I have the bolt to interact with it at least. New cat. <laughs> Hi, new cat. How are you? Ooh, spider's here. Spider, how's it going? Another force. All right, they attack Karn here for a little, little oomph. All right, we hit lands. One, two, three, four. All right, go get that food. You take care. Maybe I do get worm coil now. Seems a little strange, but let's do it. So this is big six drop, probably hard for them to deal with. It's good to see there I used a force of vigor as well. So it's a fairy. All right, that's frustrating because now they can interact with me at the great instant speeds. Thankfully, they did not put the Sikile Rai down. Getting punched for one here. What else do I got? <laughs> one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and then I have one mana left over. I'm running out of options here. Do I just replay the worm coil? This seems like a bad idea. 
I can't kill these. I guess it's just play Worm Coil. I could draw here and try to find a Day of Judgment. Maybe I'm supposed to draw. Or Boom Bust. Oh, that didn't change anything. I can't play at instant speed anyway, so holding Bolt up doesn't super matter here. Let's uh, see if they can kill me. Well, they're doing something. Force of Vigor is my Worm Coil engine. Now I have two three threes. My opponent apparently brought in only Force of Vigor. Sahili Rai kills me. Engineer Explosive doesn't kill me, but I lose some tokens. Okay. Teferi going up here. I might be able to Karn Downtick Bridge now and Lightning Bolt the Teferi. Prevent the combo kill. Now I have a Vindicate. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and bolt this. Yeah, it was three forces. Start with a bolt. Well, I'm going to play a bridge. I'm pretty dead multiple ways still. Can't get empty handed just yet. I mean, I can hold Vindicate. Doesn't do anything. Just sitting in my hand. I get a Ragavan. That doesn't hit me. That dashes in. Cannot attack. Thank goodness. Nice monkey. Tax Karn. Uh, the bridge is fetched by Karn, so it doesn't come up too, too often. All right. Well, we're going up with this. And I probably just Vindicate Vindicate at this point. That way I'm empty-handed. All right. Yeah, Vindicate Sorcery. It'd be cool if it was instant speed. That'd be a little busted, though. <laughs> a lot of a lot more people would be playing Vindicate if it was probably instant speed. What are you doing? <laughs> That's the fourth Force of Vigor. One, two, three, four. Oh my gosh. Now they dash in here to kill Karn. All four forces. Look, sack. Well, they got them all. Oh, this is kind of a cool interaction. They can keep monkey around if they want. Oh, they don't. They go with the oath. I need like bolt plus wrath. There's an endurance. Let's draw a card here. That's not good. Boom bust. Draw a new card. Boom bust. I wanted a boom bust. Racing Ragavan in, hitting for three. I swear if they find a bolt off this Ragavan, I think I might flip the table. Gets rid of a planes for me. Nice. We've only run into one Omnath here in the top bunch here. What else are you going to find? You have an Endurance. You have a Ren in six now. I'm going to two. Monkey's going back to hand. Can I vindicate me? Can I vindicate me? I can't kill the Ragavan when they throw it in here. Man. This is... This is something else. 
This is just money pile. Splashing money pile for Kavu and Monkey and I mean they're just playing. I, I I honestly would be very curious to see what their sideboard looks like. Well, we were we were in a good spot. Third force for the <laughs> third force for the worm coiler, fourth force for the ensnaring bridge. And what's really funny is because this now shuffles. Oh, they shuffled themselves. I was going to say, if they shuffle my stuff, then I can't easily go get the bridge. Anyway, last night's league punched in the face. Tonight, punched in the face. Yep. I'm just getting punched all over the place. Getting punched all over the place. That was... Match one, I think I could have potentially won, but that... I don't know what to do about four force of vigors. And let's just say if I was playing red prison, it wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> Those can't be main deck. That all has to be from the sideboard. <sighs> what was it last night we were playing and I kept the shattering spree in instead of relic and we didn't run into like any artifacts. I wonder how many artifacts they run into. That was... That was tough. That was tough. Ah, uh, by the way, when I mentioned the fox earlier, Emrakul's no good for the fox. Bummer. Okay. We're gonna keep booming and busting flagstone and vindicating cleansing wildfire bolting my opponent, and it's a Luris deck. We got this. This one feels good. Sacred Foundry. Go. Go. Opponent mulligans to six. That's not good for them. All right, Sacred Foundry, your move opponent. I'm not going to shock it in this time. Knowing my luck. Oh, hammer time? Let's do this. Let's do something spicy here. Esper Sentinel draws way too many cards here. Ooh, there you go. That's a good one. All right. Prevent. We'll kill the one. They'll get the other one. I'm going to get rid of the planes, maybe? Because I can cleansing this. Could vindicate it as well. We'll pay for this. No draws for you, opponent. No draws. I'm going to go get my black mana. So I could Vindicate the Urza Saga here before it goes and picks something up. I could even cleanse him Wildfire it if I wanted to. Extra planes for my opponent. Nice. I mean, what one drop scares me? Maybe I just uh, Vindicate this planes and then they have no lands. I kind of want to do that. I kind of just want to like... This gets one and zero drops, right? They could get a vial. I really don't know how bad of an idea this is, but we're going to do it. I'm going to shock in so they don't draw. Black mana, please. Gonna vindicate the planes here. Gonna pay this. And then they're gonna get a one drop and have no lands. It's like double stone rain. Please, no Aether Vial. And I have the damnation effect to sweep it all up. Okay. 
What do you want for zero or one, opponent? You got what, a hammer or something? Nice hammer. Stoneforge Mystic. Looks like I'm going to blow the world up here. Another hammer. In for one. You got it. You got it, hammer time. Overload. Pay. Goodbye, creatures. See you later. Now what, opponent? You got a hammer in hand, and that is it. Ugh. Urza Saga returns. Dun dun dun. Alright, let's cleanse and wildfire the Urza Saga. I'll get another planes. Ooh. Yes, please. Nahiri. I'm going to not discard, even though I could escape the Elspeth. Uh oh. Inky. Inky. Inky kind of scary. Now I need like instant speed removal. There's an Omnath. Or not Omnath. Gosh, it's Ornithopter. Flashbacks. Ornithopter. We have Colossal Hammer. Colossus Hammer and Unknown. A little bit afraid that my opponent has a um, the enchantment, but Larys a hand. I'm thinking about this. Just passes. I don't feel like Timely saves me at all here. Not sure really this is any good either. Alright, let's draw. Let's find something useful here. That'll work. Alright. So... Do I just blow up all the lands here? No lands for you. It's, it's too much. There. That board state looks so much better. There's an ink moth and another hammer. We have an unknown card in my opponent's hand. Question. Do I think I can go up here? Absolutely. We're going to get rid of the timely. It's too expensive. You remove opponent. Two cards. Can they kill me? Ornithopter and... Nothing. Yeah. Let's go find a card. Let's go get an Emrakul. Let's smash them. What's up, Marauder Otter? Ten months. Wednesday evening. Happy Wednesday. My opponent has no cards here. Clean board. Put Emrakul back into the library. Let's go get that Triome that we blew up. Your move, opponent. Let's 
get rid of the Wrath of God. Fetch lands. Your move opponent. We could kill him with Elspeth. We could kill him with Elspeth. Probably worth it. Probably worth it, right? Get him with the Elspeth and another spaghetti. All right, clean kill there. Clean. <laughs> Can we make that happen again? Glass Casket in. Maybe Trinisphere. It's just better to have Trinisphere in. Engineered Explosives as well. Let's get rid of the Maria. Get rid of the Timely. Let's get rid of the uh, Elspeth. I'm going to leave Bridge where it is for at that point in the game. Karn's probably able to come down and go get it. I'm bringing Transfer and Engineered Explosives in because one, Engineered on one is pretty strong against our opponent, and two, if Trinisphere's down, my opponent's less likely to be able to get the enchantment, boot up Ink Moth, and play Colossal Hammer. Makes it a little bit slower of a game, which will hopefully buy us some time looking for removal it's not the worst cleansings are a little awkward because they have plenty of planes i think i'm gonna try it though i'm gonna try it there's sigarda's aid mem knight we might be dead on turn two here we could be dead on turn two I'll give it to them if they've got it. This is where Trinisphere might come into hand. Boom bust this as long as they don't put a hammer here today. I'll be fine, right? There's Ink Moth. That'll be the target. Stoneforge Mystic. It's a Colossal Hammer. Alright. Gonna blow up Ink Moth. We may be just dead here, though. I'm gonna put Colossal Hammer in and Colossal Hammer. Okay, Prismatic Ending saves us. Oh, nothing saves us now. No, Engineered Explosives. All right. Uh, deck, deck list, or list will get you the command. All right. I think we're good with how we sideboarded here. Just run it back. That or a quick screenshot will get you 98% of the list. A few cards were uh, hidden because they're too far down. All right. I'm going to keep this. Opponent mulls a six. I like this hand. Prismatic and Lightning Bolt. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Prismatic's been a good pickup for this list because you're trying to remove lands. There are other lists. I still think a Path to Exile still is not a bad card to be playing. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa!
I think I'm just gonna kill this. Kind of, kind of set them back here. They got the Urza Saga, but set them back. What's up, Thunderbird? Five months, been playing Best Bark and Paper, and it's so much fun, isn't it? Oh, that list is just like absolutely a blast. You, you just can't be upset playing that list. All right, we don't need to ramp ourselves. We're gonna cleanse the Urza Saga here. Gives them the land more consistently, but it prevents them going to get something nasty. Got the bolt up here, and we got both of our planeswalkers. This one's looking pretty good. I think I just lead with Nahiri. Pro red. Small problem. <laughs> Small problem, pro red. All right, we'll Chandra instead now. I got Hose going up here. Just don't go over Emrakul. Bloodstain Mire is good to skip. I got Hose in my main deck, Endurance and Kaya's Guile against an absent player last Friday. Just brought the last pieces I needed for this for that list yesterday. Vesper Arc, Vesper Arc is awesome. Maybe I should just do only Vesper Lark. Just forget every other list. Three two is still pretty good, especially when you find some some hate like that. All right, opponent's got three cards here. The Sanctifier is annoying, but not the end of the world. I'm gonna probably attack Chandra here for two, and does so. Bad you have red on your card. Ornithopter. And lures to hands. All right. What if we do it this way? And we're going to loot away the land here and keep double bolt. All right. I've got double bolt here. We got a Lurus that I'll deal with here. Ink Moth. Mem Knight's gonna show up. There's another Horizon Canopy. Ooh. Loot it good. Loot it real good. This is the problem card right now. It's difficult for us to kill. Probably gonna attack Nahiri now. Does so. Just kidding. Attack Chandra. It's fine and expected. Could play Luris here. I probably have to kill Luris, don't I? Kill Luris, maybe draw a card. Okay. <laughs> Do I even need Karn here? Uh, I don't think I need Karn. Let's get rid of Karn. Make mana here. Blow the world up. Hold this land. Got the lightning bolt. Gonna slam him with Nahiri here. That was good. Land drop, my opponent. Boots up Ink Moth. Scarta It's fine. It's fine. That's for Sentinel. Three drop. Pure Steel Paladin. Okay. Nice. I believe I win here. I'll prevent one of these. I guess I should have done that before the other one came into play. They drew an extra card. I'm a nice guy. I'm a I'm a I'm a nice guy. Let's just smash him. Ba Boom.
Take 15. It flies. Spaghetti served for our Hammer Time opponent. I'm telling you, Hammer Time, my favorite opponent. Uptick with Chandra would have been a endurance, indulgence talisman. A lot of nothing. We won a match. We have done it. We have achieved the unthinkable with Mardu land destruction. King K. Emra cool. <laughs> I want Elspeth to just be another Dan, since I'm in black, or just another Wrath of God. That's just, it's just gotta happen. All right, let's see if we can get this two th or this two three and get fifty play points. What a hand! All right, this one's probably gotta go away. It's a little, it's a little too land heavy here. Let's mulligan this. All right, we can keep this. I'm gonna get rid of Karn. Karn's been weak. Karn hasn't won any games, and here he has. Oh no. His opponent just said yes. Fifty play points. Bit same different. I think the opponent knows us. Sup, smoke, magic. You're O2 and you're about to go O3 with our stellar killer list. I watch you on YouTube on my way to work almost every day. I hope you're not driving when you do this, and thanks. Uh-oh. In fact, this is pretty much your deck that I'm playing. <laughs> Uh-oh. Which list are they playing? This opponent's really nice. Look at this, the gathering. Look at how excited they are. <laughs> All right, they mulligan to five, unfortunately. This is a true fan. Exactly, last god. Usually I get the, hey, I watch your stuff. I'm like, thanks. This person's just like, yes. O2 oh, in my honor, exactly. All right, they're at five cards. We know what they're on. <laughs> We're going to need to blow up some lands. We know how important lands are. They watch us on YouTube, by the way. Not. Oh, Dash Monkey. Oh. I should have put an Arid Mesa in. Blood Moon! It's fine. It really is fine. Don't worry about it, everyone. We got plenty of planes to find here and plenty of red cards to blow things up with. I hate cleansing wildfire so much. <laughs> oh, fix the mana, look at that. I'm sorry, Blood Moon. I was never punished, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, oh, they're playing monkey, I love it. I love it. Prismatic ending is what they find. Me getting Blood Moon? I'm not getting Blood Moon. What are you talking about? We're totally fine. Gonna hear he whack the Blood Moon. It'll be fine. It's Monkey Prison.
Can I be upset at this? No, this is great. I want this opponent to win. Maybe I should just concede. <laughs> Cleansing wildfire. No, don't touch the planes. That would cost them two treasure tokens, though. I don't know if they want to do that. They might test me, though. I, I would respect the... Te Ooh. I respect that gemstone caverns. Gets to hold on to one treasure here. I will go get another white source, though. <laughs> All right, Ragavan back to hand here. I think I'm almost tempted to just loot here. I think looting might be better, actually. Oh, it was a million times better. You want to know why? Because if I didn't loot there, monkey comes in, monkey goes, thank you, and then I lose. Monkey would, uh, would 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 definitely steal Karn. I guess they couldn't play it immediately unless they had a bunch of ritual spells. Now they have a Nahiri to worry about too. What can I get in the sideboard? I'll just go get Worm Coil. Dashing Monkey. Fourteen, I go. Playing Karn here shuts the treasure tokens off, which is kind of fun. For three, I'm not sure what they'll play here post-combat. Freya likes watching me, just like Loki. All right, Magus isn't that scary here. Ooh. Probably not casting this, so. Bam. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. It's my night in the office with Freya, so no Loki tonight. Loki's not allowed in the office. Monkey's coming back with a vengeance here. Ah, they attack each other. I see, I see. Two damage in, plus two at Nahiri to keep things in check here. I respect that. We have five mana. They find treasure they can't use in a, our swamp. Our swamp. That's a really, really, really good card. Um... I guess I'll go get a liquid metal coating. Make things frustrating for our opponent. Uh, at upkeep, we'll stop them. And the bolt takes care of monkey, which is nice. They hiss. All right, so we have Nahiri. Definitely threatening. Lightning bolt takes care. We have... Couple things over there. We'll see where they send everything. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna kill Magus here. They get a treasure token, but I get the Nahiri now. And the fact that I have another Nahiri. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards here. I can kill a land and then just blow up everything.
which feels pretty, pretty strong. I'll probably just play new Nahiri here. I think we'll be winning this one. Just a guess. Just a guess. Alright, everything looking good. I can draw with the sun baked if I want to. I actually don't have as much red as I thought I did. So I probably won't bother. Need five more damage here. Go, go, liquid metal coating. Get him. Pam. Big crunch. Yeah. Coding gets to get gets in there with Emrakul now. <laughs> All right, so we got to be Red Prison here as our final raid boss. Um, Red Prison is going to struggle against a pro red creature, so we'll bring that in. Kind of just want to bring the big stuff in just to try it out. Um. Talismans are good here. I probably want to get rid of the dam just because the white is probably what I want to focus on getting. I'm going to take the Day of Judgment and the Wrath of God out. I know this isn't supposed to be in here. We'll take it out. And... I'm gonna take the time. Uh, no, nah. timely. Timely's kind of nifty. Let's take one bolt out. I like the prismatic ending a little bit more than a bolt because it'll get rid of the blood moon if it becomes a problem for us, which doesn't look like it will be. We'll keep the opener. We'll keep the opener. No monkey, thank goodness. Tappy land, go. Scraper boom bust. We'll probably hide the planes. I don't know if they're going to be playing a pillage. They said it was one of my older lists, so the answer's probably no. Get the boom, not lose a land. Opponent loses a land. Red prison struggles against land destruction. We, we know that very well. All right, we miss our land drop here, so what I'm going to do is cleansing myself to go get a land. Uh, at this point, I'll get the swamp. Now we have four mana, and we're good to use any of our beautiful, lovely planeswalkers. What did they get at three? Rabble Master? We'll need to kill that Rabble Master. Let's try Elspeth here. I want to give Elspeth an opportunity to prove herself here. We'll throw her down. She's got two one ones here. I think it'll be okay. Maybe Rabble Master number two shows up here. They send out the other Rabble Master, make some tokens, and I can get this with like Nihiri or Chandra. It's a good board. I'm not worried about it though at the moment. I could also make creatures kill this. Elspeth proving to be really nice right here. Let's 
Let's go ahead and vindicate the Rabble Master here. Put the land in tapped and pass turn. They could kill Elspeth, but it can escape back. No problems there. I was thinking about vindicating a land, but I think just killing the Rabble Master there's fine. We're going to see probably a Chandra or some Karn. There's Karn. Okay. Here, I don't know what they go get. They get liquid metal coating. I might just play my Karn. Karn down tick. Liquid metal. Do they attack? Answer is no. <laughs> Could have killed the land. Um. Let's start with an attack and see how they want to block. And I'm going to go after Karn. I'm expecting to need to bolt here. We're probably going to get a chump chump here. My double and chump. And so I've cleared the creatures. They have a liquid metal in hand. Now I go ahead and bolt Karn. And I have free reign over whatever else I want to play here. I think it just has to be like a Nahiri. It's probably just our best card. And loot away one of the Karns. Find the lands nice here. Cool. That worked out really well. So we have a liquid metal coating and five unknown cards. Plays a Ramunot. Four mana Chandra. A top deck of land, I can play Karn and Chandra. Anger the gods. Clears the creatures. Five. We have five things over there. I don't want Chandra. Let's play Karn. Let's down tick. Let's go get a liquid metal coating. Play our lands. And shock in, it's fine. Sanctifier. Liquid metal coating. At upkeep, we nail the Chandra. We have our Nahiri. Should be pretty good here. It's going to be a hard place for Red Prison to get out of. Snaring Bridge is pretty good. And the Liquid Metal Coating. All right. They do manage to stop us. So what do we do now? This is creature. Probably can just go get engineered on three. One, two, three. So that'll get rid of the bridge. I can actually go and attack uh, this uh, Chandra for fun. And then we'll put our upkeep stop back here. 
Stop Chandra, planning to pop bridge and smash face. Feeling pretty good here. New Chandra, okay. Makes two mana. Are they just trying to create a bunch of things here? Anger of the gods. This won't do that. <laughs> I am pleased that a fan is so polite. It warms my heart. <laughs> they were hoping for the mirror. No luck. No luck. The mirror would have been a fun matchup, too. Why did your fan say get Rex Scrub? <laughs> huh. <laughs> Rogue Goblin thoughts so far. Um, it's interesting. I guess I could have won here, right? I guess I could have won. Oh well. <laughs> Forgot about the Elspeth over there. I could have charged up Emrakul and the Sanctifier and gotten the kill in. And I could have booted up Liquid Metal Cody and really smashed in. But yeah, Rogue Goblin, thank you so much for the sub seven months. The list has been good. It's interesting. <laughs> Make it a clean win here. Get their full value here, right? <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> Mardu land destruction. We go 2-3, probably a small punt at the very beginning. Maybe could have made something happen there. What does black bring us versus the red-white lockout lists? Well, brings us dam. Brings us vindicate. Really, it's just converting pillage into a vindicate. It's probably worth it to run a little black and play Vindicate, but I think there's a few things going on in here that I'm a little bit nervous about and I think should change. Now, I do appreciate no mana tithe, but at the same time, I like a mana tithe. We'll call that personal preference. Whatever you want to do, I think you play that. Prismatic Ending is a very good card for this list, especially if you go into the three colors. becomes very useful. can kill or get rid of a lot of things. It's also a bit better than Oust, and it's a lot better than Path for the concept that this list plays, that being Land Destruction. Elspeth's Sun's Nemesis. We got to see it kind of doing its thing there at the end. If you bust you're not going to have the lands to play this um if you're destroyed some lands you're not going to have the lands to to escape it or play it it's an interesting card i guess if you were to remove elspeth your win conditions now become chandra 
Emrakul are extremely hard locks with Karn. And so it's maybe like an extra nice way to, to work with what's going on. I think plenty of times I would have preferred, instead of creating tokens here, I would have preferred just a Wrath of God. It, since you're in black, I'd almost put another dam in, quite honestly. Personally, I think the list could use a pillage or two as well, and that Elspeth could be that. And that would put you further into this, you know, destroying the the creatures and stuff, or destroying the land strategy, and so that one's maybe debatable of what you want to do. A Marius Call seems kind of pointless to have in here. Um, I guess if you were to get to seven mana and have nothing else to do, you can throw it down. It, I would I would just cut this card completely and make it make it something in this three slot. Your four slots overloaded just a little bit here, and I'm always a little bit afraid running one Emrakul that it'll get stolen by Monkey in the exile. You exile by accident with Chandra, so I almost would want a second Emrakul. I know that that kind of increases the chances of drawing it. Black adds interesting elements. I think with enough practice, we could probably clean up a few of our plays. I do appreciate an artifact land that Karn could go get. There was almost never a time I wanted to go get this because once you got to four mana, you're you're good. You're good. As soon as you get, it's not like you're trying to get to five and six mana. Typically, I know you have the boom bust, and I guess this is a land that doesn't get destroyed. But that's that's almost never what you want to be doing. You want to be just getting one of these other cards, and so I would probably do something different than. The bridge, maybe even another glass casket wouldn't be too bad. Uh, since you're in three colors, engineered explosives number two wouldn't be bad. Torp orbs, probably not a bad idea either. One thing I think the list misses that the red white one gives you is Season Pyromancer. I still think that card's fairly good. I don't see running it here though because double red is a lot harder because you're trying to do white black on turn three, followed by than like potentially double reds or red whites. And so I don't see Season Pyromancer unfortunately make it into this list. I would probably, let's see here, to close out on that thought, I would probably take the red white list here and I know we have one Emrakul, it always makes me nervous. What I would probably do here is bring in the two prismatic endings. I would adjust the mana base just a little bit. And then I would run two Vindicates in this list or three getting rid of some pillages. That makes it hard for the pillage stone rains and or pillages and season pyromancers. But that's probably about all I would do. And then in the sideboard, adjust it you don't need the dragon's claws you could have engineered explosives but doing something like that makes me feel like that's probably a cleaner approach than all the things that were happening in this list here list is sweet though like i said i think it just takes a little practice the prismatic ending is definitely the best card here i like a karn list uh a chroma Probably could be something else. You've already got Chandra Awaken Inferno. I don't think you need three spells here. When I saw this this list 5.0, I bought the missing pieces immediately. It, it It's definitely fairly solid. And I think if you have the mana base like you do, you could even go a little further into black and play things like a couple Inquisitions or Thought Seizes and go... Little, little more there, and, and you could then tune your sideboard to splash black a little bit heavier and maybe put an extra blood crypt or fetch land in for a Sunbay Canyon. List is sweet, though. I liked it. I think I personally like red-white a little bit more because it's cleaner, but it does have me considering playing just a little bit of black to play some Vindicates. Vindicates strong. Did its thing. Pretty sweet list. <laughs> That's Mardu.